in case you're a small company and the world isn't exactly waiting for you, you really should produce that 40 millimeter dive watch with a metal bracelet from China. And you should stay away from everything square, small or dressy or you just give a damn and do whatever you like. <laughs> Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and I have the pleasure to present you something very special today, the Vario Versa, a watch with a very long name, Vario Versa Dual Time Reversible Watch. And I was in contact with Ivan, I think he's the founder or CEO of, of Vario Watches and I wanted another piece, you know, these typical Art Deco round watches, tuxedo dial, uh, limited edition, really amazing color and he said, yeah, nice watch, I will send you that, but what do you think about the Vario Versa, our newest watch, and I saw it and I thought, wow, that's exactly my piece. Please, 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 please send it to me for one or two weeks. And he did, it's here, arrived very early, and I couldn't reveal that I have it already on the wrist because of marketing schedules, but now I can show you this nice watch in detail in the light box. But first one thought about that watch, I mean, tank watch, reversible, so that means we are in the league of, at least when it comes to the functionality of Jeje Le Coultre or Cartier, I'm thinking of the Basculant. And then I thought, wow, what a competition for a small company to, to enter that field. But after almost two weeks on the wrist, I don't see it anymore in direct competition with Jeje Le Coultre and Cartier. Because I thought, well, in the 20s and 30s, even Jeje Le Coultre produced watches for everyday use. People used these watches without worrying so much. And today, I mean, Jeje Le Coultre, the, the, finer, the finer tanks, the reversible watches, 6, 8, 10, 12,000 euros, immensely expensive, all the same amount in US dollars. So you cannot, or you have to baby them. And after two weeks, I was so happy that I have this feeling on the wrist and the look and the vibe but with this old spirit, you can wear it every day. This was very nice to experience. You can wear it really every day without worrying so much. And so I am personally very happy that Vario just ignored all the advice, stick to yeah, around 40 millimeter dive watches that they just said, well, we, we want our tank, we want our reversible watch and we will produce that. And I will show you this watch in the light box right now, but first a little announcement, I've recorded a song for you written by Kurt Weil, you'll find it at the end of this video and now let's go. And here we are with our Vario Versa dual time reversible watch and um, this is not the original strap, came on a black strap and I'm not so much in love with the color black in general and so I popped it on my case back number two strap because I just love the, the contrast here. This lovely honey tone together with this silverish white is just a classy, classy, classy combo. But now let's go over the specifications first. And we have here a case length of 40 millimeters and a case width of 26. You will see it on my wrist in a minute. The case thickness is 12 millimeters and the lug width 20. Then we have a flat sapphire crystal I should say sapphire crystal on both sides here. And inside works the quartz movement, Ronda Slim Tech 1062. It's repairable and it offers a power reserve of six years. So that really a no brainer, very, very nice. And the water resistance is rather poor with 50 meters. And so at first glance, very classy. Of course, it reminds us of the Cartier Basculant with this, with this layout. And of course, with this miniaturie with, uh, with, with numerals and the, the overall case form. And crown here is on position, on position 12. Very nice because it's so special. You don't see this very often. The case is high polished here. And on the sides there, you have a nice brushing. See that? Nice brushing. The build quality is very good, but um, to be honest, this is not a super complicated form to polish, so I, I was expecting this. And I like this simplistic form. I mean, you find these classic dials, these Art Deco inspired dials with a lot of varieties. The Minuterie sometimes is here on the, uh, on the side and not so much centered. And in other examples, you find exactly that centered model here. And sometimes, of course, you find more numerals or less numerals and 
it depends a bit on your taste which you like most for me this is just fine this is just a very fine fine look and now the flip mechanism you see that here this is the blue version and you may see that the blue version is pure very puristic compared to the white version and first I thought ah, a bit uh, the, 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 could be more going on on this dial and then I discovered that this color is nice the shine is very nice and it re reminded me of enamel and in fact in the in the documentation is mentioned enamel this is an enamel dial as far as I understood and this explains the nice shine and this very clean display of color this is a bit hard to explain but when i see or when you see enamel dials with with bare eyes then they offer a certain quality and what i really love here is the is the color combination as well i mean there are more colors available as mentioned i have here the blue but you can also pick red green also with the silver silver dial on the other side but i love the blue it's, it's a great color it works outstandingly well together with the steel and the and the leather here so overall a very very nice look but i totally get the idea that this is the busy watch or the busier watch for your office for working hours and then you flip it over and then you see this is your second time zone or um, your yeah, your bar watch and I find this idea very attractive that you can use it for travel for a function really or you can just say business hours and leisure time just nice so beautiful look at this and now of course the question is does it work I don't mean the movement of course this works um, does it does the mechanism here work and it's very simple you just flip it over you have a little bit of or oh, not really <laughs> You can move it very easily, but you cannot move it accidentally on the wrist because your wrist blocks it in position. And so there's no danger. So very nice. And now operating these watches is simple. Every watch has a crown and now you can set the time. And to be honest, that feels as flimsy as a quartz movement is. This doesn't feel substantial like a good mechanical movement this feels a bit different but I mean you have to set the time here very rarely for your time zone you can't set it one one time in six years basically and so I can excuse this okay enough talk now let's put it on the wrist let's see how it looks like and there you go and there you see 40 millimeter in length is absolutely enough for my 17 centimeter wrist so this is a tank also for bigger wrists i think and you see it wears high rather high so it will never reach the elegant look of a let's say Jeje le Coultre reversal but i don't see it in that league i don't see it in that competition i see it as the robust little brother in the same genre of these reverso type watches very affordable and not only for the opera or the restaurant, you can use this also for a bit of rough duty and so on. And especially that aspect I like pretty much because your Cartier Basculin, this is a very fragile watch. The prices are over the top, over the moon really. And so this could be a very nice alternative. And so I'm very happy with that watch. And to be honest, I think I will buy it. I think I will buy exactly that press purpose piece. And here you see the original strap. It's not black, to be honest. It's, it's a dark, very dark blue, very elegant, looks nice. But I like my contrasts, guys. I really like my contrasts. And so I was more comfortable with the case back number two strap, but you can purchase the watch with this, with this strap here. Welcome back and now availability and price. The watch is available right now and the price is 428 US dollars. And I think um, in euros with VAT, you end with uh, 470, I think, in this, in this region. Okay, and now I'd like to show you some images sent in by viewers. And the first two images come from Oliver. And he writes, this is my last purchase, Longines Spirit 37 millimeter champagne dial. The impetus came from your review. I ordered the watch on April the 1st, finally arrived 10 days ago. Oh God. Massive delivery problems to Germany. Had spoken several times with the AD and then with Longines directly. All very friendly and professional, but has really taken a long time. Wow, this is, this is crazy. From April to November, this is really crazy, but the watch is so great. I did a, I think, watch of the week episode with it. 
because the specs and the look, everything was so convincing. Absolute great watch. So congratulations. But the story here is crazy. April to November, wow. And his second image is Rolex. My first expensive watch, Rolex Explorer 2, which I could afford in my mid 50s. Wanted and got it within one week. The watch then pulled me into the rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very good example, rabbit hole, because um, the rabbits are, I think, a species with a very large or let's say big reproduction rate. And so, Oliver, well done, congratulations, and thank you for these images. And our next image comes from Matt from Sacramento, California. And he writes, I really enjoy your channel, thank you. And here is a picture with my youngest granddaughter. This is her new watch of which she wanted to show me. Yeah, kids and their taste. It's so fascinating to see the, uh, the development, when there is a development, and hopefully in most cases there is a really nice development. So thank you very much, Matt, and your watch there is a zin, as we see. And dear viewer, if you want to share images, wrist shots and images from your area here on the channel, then please don't hesitate. Use K-Spec watches at iCloud.com. And that's all here. These are all the watches and images I wanted to show you. Now enjoy that song.